so much for joining me for this full length Pilates Reformer Body Burner Workout class. We're going to go ahead and begin off the machine in the well. I took my straps and I threw them to the side so I'd be less likely to trip. I have one light spring on. On my machine that is one blue spring, I do not work in half springs. I've been asked before a couple times to work in half springs. I, I don't bother because I think it makes stuff harder. So anyways, one light spring on. I'm going to hold on to my shoulder blocks before I take a nice big step over and take another nice big step over. I have a basket in my well, which I will kick out now so that I don't trip on it ah, for safety purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and begin in a quadruped position. I have my heels directly underneath my sits bones. I have my shoulders over my wrists and my hips directly over my heels. I'm going to go ahead and find a nice neutral position. I'm going to rotate the inside aspects of my elbows more towards the foot bar. I have a gentle bend in my elbow. I have a nice elongated neck and a straight line from the tip top of my head out through my tailbone. I'm wrapping my ribs from my abdominals up and in and I'm pulling the foot, uh, the shoulder blocks apart gently to flatten my shoulder blades against my back. So I'm not like this. I'm in a nice plank position. From here, I'm just going to do six cat cows. So I'm going to tuck my tail, tuck my head, and then I'll lift my tail, lift my head. Don't allow your ribs to flare and everything to just collapse. Think of a nice chest expansion or a nice chest lift. Okay. Anger cat and cow. If you're moving your carriage while you're doing this, you are just stabilizing on your carriage. So make sure that you're not sticking your booty back and moving your carriage when you come up into a cow and not moving it towards you when you're doing cat. You're just using there as a touchstone and making sure that you can control the machine without manhandling it. Come back to neutral. Heel, bow, heel uh, toe your feet in so that your legs squeeze together, the inner aspects of your feet are squeezed together. We're going to lift our left foot and extend it back, squaring our hips. We're not splaying our hips just yet. From there, we're just going to do a one-legged cat-cow. So ground through all the aspects of your standing foot and draw your knee towards your nose, tuck your head, tuck your tail, and extend everything out to neutral. And tuck your tail, tuck your nose. So round is wide, neutral spine, less cat cow, more cat extension. And cat extension, one more. Now stay there, really square off your hips, and we're gonna lift our foot up and lower an inch, and just squeeze your glute to lift. Don't round out in your back. No poo bearing out our front, right? We want to keep it lifted up and in. Good. Now stop at the top. We're going to go towards the outside upright and across our midline towards that upright. We're keeping it in the machine. If your foot doesn't touch your uprights, no worries. Don't wag your tail to get there. It's inner thigh, outer thigh. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Now come back to center. We're going to do medium sized circles, staying inside the uprights. No tucking again. And reverse. Good. Good. Now from there, we're going to bring our feet down. We're going to turn it out to Pilates feet. I'm going to take my right hand, place it on the carriage. My fingers are pointing towards my left hand. I'm going to bring my foot up and extend it back. Don't lean into your machine for this. Really reach back and shoot energy out of your foot. Try to stack your hip over your heel. And now we're going to pulse up. Two. Really working the outside of that glute. Abs up and in. I have light hands on the machine, guys. It's there for support, but I'm not hanging out for dear life. Now bring it front and bring it back. Take a look at your leg. You shouldn't be leaning back to get here. You should just be slightly front and slightly back. Really stabilizing on that leg. Challenging the load of your body against the stability of your leg. Good. Come back.
come back to center. Eight small circles in each direction. Or sorry, five, I did five, but we'll do eight here now. Good, now bring it back through center, bring your foot down, place your hand back on the shoulder block. We're gonna come back to parallel. We're gonna do the whole thing on the left leg now with all the arabesque work. It's a gentle sort of leg warm up situation. Rotate those inner aspects of your uh, arm, of your elbow, right towards the end of the machine. Squeeze under your arms, press your foot back. We're gonna cat cow, square your hips up, tuck your tail, bring your nose to your airside. Cat, neutral swing. And extend in the neutral air bus, and tuck and pull. We're not splaying our hip yet. Make sure you're nice and square in your hips, that they're really facing towards the ground. As you bring your leg in, suck in your tummy, lift it up, 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 belly button to spine. One more. This is my hip that likes to splay it, so I always have to check on it, right? We're gonna pulse up, up. Stabilize through that right, or that left leg right now. Square the hips, stay up at the top now to the outside and squeeze your inner thighs to bring it across inside the upright. So outside and inner thigh. Outside hip, inner thigh. Good. Squeeze underneath your arms, nice long neck. Nice little tuck in your pelvis, tiny little tuck. To watch out for your lower back. Now, eight, um, five circles in each direction. Medium size, same inside the uprights in the frame. And now reverse. Good. Here's three. Here's four. Here's five. Now we're gonna bring our foot down. We're gonna turn out to a, a tiny Pilates feet. I'm gonna bring my right hand onto the carriage. Rotate my fingers, or my left hand onto the carriage. Rotate my fingers of my left hand towards my right hand. I'm gonna look really up, up, up. I'm not leaning on. I'm pressing away, I'm trying to stack my hip over my uh, ankle on my standing leg. And I'm gonna pulse up. Two, three, four. Really working the outside. Abs up and in, forward and back. Don't allow your leg to shift. Really stabilize through. I feel it heavily on the outside of my leg. Good. Nice long neck. We're gonna do 10 small circles in each direction. Come back to center and begin. One, two, three, four. Lean away from the machine. I know I have that problem too right there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Highlight. 10. Bring your foot back down. We're gonna do six more cat cows, regular. So bring your heels underneath your sits bones. I'm gonna lift my tail with my head to begin. Tuck my tail. Tuck my head. Drawing my abs up and in. Lift tail, lift head. Find a nice movement here. Here's four. Squeezing under the arms. Really finding a movement in the spine. Squeezing our glutes to come back up so our glutes don't pop back. One more. Back to neutral, leave your hands on the foot, shoulder box as you step out with one foot carefully, lifting your other foot carefully. Now release your hand from the shoulder box, so that you're safely out. I'm gonna find my, my uh, ropes, my straps. I'm gonna repeg. We're gonna be doing footwork, guys. So we're gonna have three to four springs on. So my ball is rolled in front of me. So we're gonna have three to four springs on. I do uh, my four heaviest springs on my machine. I have some people who hold five. My four heaviest is one medium spring, one right on my machine, and three grains, which is the three heaviest springs. Go ahead and lift your headrest up if you'd like. Come to lying on your back. We're gonna start with our heels on, our heels directly under our sit bones, just like we did for cat-cow. 
We have a perfect number 11. We're going to keep it the whole time. We're going to press out of the inhale and exhale to return. And inhale away and exhale to return. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Really stabilize a nice heavy sacrum. A slight lift or curve in your low back from your tip top of your hip bones to your 12th rib. All your ribs are melting into the wrap or, or into the carriage. Your ribs are wrapped on the front. Nice wide shoulder blades, nice wide collarbone. Now we're going to come to a Pilates V position on our toes. Heels together, toes apart, knees tracking over your big toes and press it out. Squeeze your, your inner thighs together and release, resist. And squeeze, release, resist. Good. Find the breath. Try not to tuck when you come in. Just a nice crease of the hip flexor. Here's nine, and here's ten. Now, we're going to bring our feet to a wide Pilates V or a second position with our heels on the outside of the foot bar. Go ahead and adjust so that you're not too close to the shoulder blocks. We're going to inhale as you press out, really finding the length for our legs at the top, and exhale, crease of the hip flexors, resist the spring tension back in. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs, you press it up, and resist. Keep going, keep breathing. And press. Don't release the tension on your inner thighs and glutes. Keep a nice squeeze on it. Good. One more. Wrap the wrists. Slide up to the tippy top, balls of your feet, super Las Vegas high heels or demi point position or ball of foot position. Center the weight between your big toe and your second toe and press it out. Feel the wrap of the inner thigh, of the thigh from the inner part of the knee all the way to the outer part of the hip and resist. And inhale and resist. Slight pause at the top and come back in. Here's four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, one more, stay here. We're going to press out. Don't let your hips shift. And we're going to trot here. So drop your right heel under as your left knee bends and lift. It takes more control here. Drop your left heel under, bend your right knee and lift. Because everything's not drawn in towards your midline like it usually is when we do it straight from a parallel high heel position. So really anchor down on the backs of the hips. Lower and left. Good. Lower, left, left leg, lift, right, lift, abs up and in, wrap your ribs straight up before you drop the other foot heel and lift and lower and pause just like in the footwork. Pause at the top to really give your muscles that little extra oomph. Here's nine. And here's ten. From here, we're going to lower our heels under for one, two, three, and lift up. Two, three, and lower. Two, three, and lift. Find the energy shooting out the top of your head. Here's four. Five, we're going to ten. Six. Seven. 
It's a different feeling here, a different burn, right? Here's eight. This is my trainer, Katie. She loves to do the trot in the lower lift in the wide second position. Ooh, final one, guys. Now, bend your knees and resist the springs back in. Slide your legs together in the center, squeezing the inner aspects of your legs completely in a high heel. Inner feet, calf, inner thigh. Bring the heel all the way up and press it out and resist it back in. Now press out and pause. Find that wrap that we found in the wide second and high heel from the inner knee to the outer hip and lower. Press and in. And exhale, drop the abdominals. Squeeze your legs together the whole time. When you come in, if you feel your knees start to pull apart and apart, slow down there. And really squeeze. Good. One more like this, and then we're going to press out and stay there. And so press it out. Drop your heels under. Bend your knees and come in. Raise your feet up in high heel and press. And lower your heels and bend your knees in. We have three. We're going to five, and then we're going to reverse. Here's four. This is my favorite footwork exercise. Good. Five or Right now it is, right? Come all the way in. Now we're going to press out and press our heels under. We're going to rise up to a high heel. We're going to resist the spring tension back in. Drop your heels and press the heels under the foot bar and lift and resist it. Here's three in reverse. And drop your heels and press. And lift. And come in. And here is five. Good. We're going to roll to the side. We're going to come up to sitting. We're going to make sure our hand goes around. We're going to drop our spring tension to a forward flexion work. Curl ups, hundreds, coordination, whatever your lowest common denominator, let's call it there is, you can pick that one. You can pick the heavier weight. The lower the weight is, the more your abs are going to work. I am on one medium and one light spring. On my machine, that's one red, one blue. I'm gonna come back to lying down. I'm gonna find my straps. Bring my knees into tabletop. And from there, I'm just gonna do some curl ups. Okay, so I'm gonna inhale, reach my fingers long towards the footwork. I'm gonna weight my sacrum here. I'm gonna make sure that I'm really pressing it down and that I am not tucking here, right? And then lower. Squeezing under the arms to reach up. Same feeling that we had. We're pulling and stabilizing. We're pulling our underarms taut when we were doing the arabesque warm up. Here's five. And here is six. Now come back down. Bring the straps over. Stop right where you're starting to over me. Now drop your elbows down so your biceps are in the mat. You have a 90 degree bend from your bicep to your forearm. This is another one of Katie's favorites. We're going to slide our hands up like they're sliding against a wall and not allow the carriage to move. And then squeeze our underarms, squeezing our biceps or wrists, come back down. And press up. You're really going to be able to find the underarm work here. And here's five. And one more. Six. And now stop here. And now extend your arms down, floating off the mat, and bend back to 90 degrees. And extend and float your arms back to 90. Here's three. Squeeze under your arms to pull your shoulders away from your ears. We're going to have three more. Here's three. And two. And one. Bring your hands back up. You should still have, you should still be away from the bumper, right? With your, with your um, fingers over your sternum. Extend your legs straight up. We're gonna lower our legs to working level, not moving the body, and lift. And lower. And lift. Here's three. And lift. Now just arms and legs. Lower, float your arms down. 
and lift. Don't move anything else in your body. Now, we're going to add the curl up to this two for three. On the third one, we're going to stamp and do hundreds. So, curl up, crease of the sternum, lower your arms, lower your legs, and rest your head on your shoulders, lift arms, lift legs, and reach the hundreds. And lift. Final one, stay up. Oh, here goes nothing. And we're going to inhale. Two, three, four, five. Squeeze under your arms. Grab your glutes. Draw your wrist towards your hips. Nice wide shoulder blades. Really slap the water. Extend your fingers long. Don't let them wing up towards the ceiling. Shoot energy out of your feet, just like we worked on on that arabesque. So we're not just collapsing them on our body. Two more sets. Squeeze your glutes. Stop there. Float your hands and legs up. Rest your head, neck, and shoulders. Bring your feet into tabletop. Bring your, uh, oh my gosh. Squeeze your biceps to your ribs, just like you were 90 degrees, but bring them all the way to your shoulders. We're gonna do coordination. It's gonna be fun. Inhale, exhale, reach your arms and legs. Turn them out to Pilates feet. Open your legs the width of the footbar. Squeeze the back together. Back to parallel, pull back to tabletop. Draw your arms back in and press everything. And open, and one, and a two, and parallel. Tabletop, arms in. If you need to rest your head, naked shoulders between reps, do so, and press. Turn out, and one, and two, and three, parallel. Tabletop, bring it in, and press, and four, three, two, one, parallel. Tabletop, and here's five. Don't round your shoulders, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, best one, curl even deeper as you press, and turn it out, and six, five, four, three, two, one, parallel, tabletop. Hands in, rest your head, neck, and shoulders. Sorry. Rest your feet on the foot bar. Go ahead and separate your feet to the outer edges. I'm on my arch of my foot. Without allowing your 12th rib to come up, windshield wipe your feet gently from side to side. Good job, guys. We're going to go into some long box work next. It's going to be the bulk of our class. And after our long box work, we're going to do some really fun leg work. <laughs> that, that's going to include feet and straps, okay? All right. So I'm going to roll up to the side. I'm going to locate my box. I'm going to put my box in the long box position. I'm going to drop my medium spring, so I only have one light spring on. That is one blue spring on my machine. I am going to find a sticky mat and put it to the side so I don't scramble for it later in case I want it. We are going to start with swan. Swan is on one blue. It is going to be extremely light. We are adding some hand jumps. So if you have shoulder issues, please just press out and in as opposed to the jumping, which we will start with when I show you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hand, hand, leg, leg. Place your sternum at 12th rib or right where your bra strap is. At the very edge of your box, squeeze your legs together, squeeze your inner thighs, draw your abdominals up and in. We're gonna look down, we're gonna press out on one, and we're gonna pull up on two. Press out on three, and across on four, and press on one. Lift on two, press back on three, and four. Here's three, we're gonna go to five. Don't worry about pulling the carriage all the way into the bumper. This is just a nice, stretchy extension. The frames are very light. Don't let your ribs already come up. And now come in. Now, we're gonna start right here. And we're just going to press and resist and press resist three this 
isn't a heavy spring, so it's all about control here, and inner thigh control. Make sure you're keeping the squeeze on your glutes and inner thigh. Here's nine. And ten. Now we'll begin hand jumps. Squeeze your legs in tight so that your feet do not hit your uprights and you don't hurt your toes. And press on one. Just a gentle press. Don't allow your, shoulder, your shoulders to come up your ears. Good. Keep breathing. Biceps by your ears. Make sure you're not dropping your head so low that the foot bar is going to bam into the top of your head. Here's nine. Here's ten. Don't release your glutes yet. Bring your right hand into the center. Bring your left hand into your low back. When I say center, here's the center of my machine. My hand's right to the right of the center. And I'm going to press on one and come back on two. Just a one-handed press. Still squeezing the glutes. Here's five. Good. I'm going to replace the hand with my left hand right to the left of the center. Ooh, these one-handed ones after everything shouldn't be so hard, right? But they sure are. Here's four. And five. Good. Come all the way into the bump. Let's carefully come off to the side. We're going to do some side arm work. So make sure you're on a blue because it's going to be some shoulder work. I'm going to sit to the side. I'm going to sit um, right on the edge closest to my shoulder blocks. My heels are underneath my sits bones. I'm not dragging my feet on the wood, but I'm not necessarily yanking them up so hard. It's super hard on my shins either. I'm going to locate my strap, squeeze my bicep into my ribs again, bring my hand flat-handed up by my face, place my left hand or my right hand on my hip, and reach up and lower. Do not use your body weight like this to move the spring. Stabilize through your body, press in through your heels, wrap your ribs. Good. There's five. Abs up and in. Six. We're going to eight. My elbow doesn't make it all the way straight on this one for my body. And that's fine. If it doesn't do it for you either, no big deal, right? Now, Bring your right hand across. We're still squeezing our elbow into our side, but our arm is our forearms coming across our belly button. Place your left hand on your hip. This is a rotator cuff exercise. So if you can't do that, go like this. If you can't do that, please feel free to just do the movement without the strap. We're going to open, bring the inside of our forearm to face the front, and close and open. If you have shoulder issues, you can find a light weight to do these movements with, or just do the movements with no weight, maintaining a neutral spine. Here's seven, don't move your body. Try to remain equally weighted on your sits bones. I got, went a little too fast, momentum took me away. Now I'm going to extend my arm across my body and look down at my strap. I'm gonna pull it across and reach it up for unsheath the sword and bend my arm across and come down. The blue spring is still really difficult to maintain control. You're using it to work against the weight of your body. If you need more weight, please feel free. But if you're leaning into the springs at all, go ahead and stay on the blue spring and try to just lean in less and compensate with the, with the stabilizing aspects of the box of your body right now. Good. From here, we're going to take our left hand, put it in the strap again. We're going to move towards the foot bar. We're going to do hug a tree. So I have my arms in a nice wide second position, or like I'm hugging a giant, giant, giant tree or bowl of candy. I'm not holding on to the strap for dear life. I have it hooked between my thumb and my fingers. I'm going to inhale, tap my fingers, and exhale to open. Resist. My fingers are tapping in front of where my sternum is 12 for a beat. Just where we were talking about for swan. <sighs> inhale to open. Now stop here and exhale. <sighs> now inhale to close. And exhale to open. And inhale to close. Nice white shoulder blades, nice white collarbones. Wrap your ribs, belly button up and in. Now stay right here. 
Place your right hand on top of your left. Rotate towards the back. Come back through center. Rotate towards the front. My handle is staying in line with my sternum the whole time. I'm not leaning into it again. It's as if I have a pull from the tip top of my head out through my tailbone and I'm rotating around the pull. Good. Come back to center. Open to the hug a tree. Now flip your palms up for hug a moon. Inhale, hands over your head and back. Don't flare your wrists. Here's three. On after four, we're gonna change our breath again, right? Try to put the work in your back. And inhale down. Now exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down. From here, we're gonna be doing some quadruped work on top of the box. If you are not comfortable doing quadruped work on top of the box, Go ahead and take the box off, do it on your carriage, or do it on the floor. I'm gonna take my handle, I'm gonna replace it for a foot strap. From there, I'm gonna put both hands to the front of the box. I'm gonna come into the quadruped position on the top of the box. Are my feet touching the foot bar? Yes, they are. But when I start to move, they're not going to be any longer. I'm gonna take the strap and pull it towards me. I'm gonna put my right foot down on the carriage and put the strap around my right foot. I'm going to come up and I'm going to walk my left knee towards the center so that I don't get as much rope burn as usual. I'm gonna make my knee light, but I'm not, not gonna go like this just yet. Now, with a bent knee, I'm gonna kick and lift up with my glutes and lower. And lift. Square your hips to the box, just like we did earlier. Here's five. We're gonna go to eight again. Eight's my magic number on the box today for some reason. Here's seven. I don't think that's right, but it's fine. And eight, and lower. And now extend your leg in a low air bust back. Square your hips again and pulse up, and lower, and lift and lower. Try not to use your body weight again. So no shifting forward or back. Keep your shoulders over your wrist and your hip over your knee. We're gonna stay up at the top. We're gonna pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten small circles in each direction. Shoot energy out of your toes and reverse. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Square your hips. Nine, ten. Bring your knee back down. Now, we're going to take our left hand again. We're going to lower down. So, and we're going to place our left hand on top of our right hand. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can place it back wherever you want. I just like mine on my right hand. And now I'm going to open my leg to the side. And lower. Try not to lean back on your left leg, just like we talked about in air rest. Try to keep that hip over the knee. Move the carriage as little as possible. Good. Now extend your leg back. Now bring it to the side a couple inches and squeeze it back. Guys, this is very hard. If you go too far, it's going to be a real challenge to get back, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. This is enough challenge on its own. Here's seven and eight. So I'm just coming out to the side of my foot bar and squeezing it back. Now pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten small circles in each direction. I'm still keeping my shoulder over my wrist or elbow in other direction and my hip over my knee. Now, come back to the square body position. Bring your foot down to the carriage. Take the strap off carefully. 
Use the strap to allow yourself to ease back to the bumper. I'm going to sit on the side of the machine. I'm going to take my left leg. Ooh! I'm going to lift it up and cross above my ankle. And I'm going to place it across my right leg above my knee, not on my knee. I'm going to reach my hands behind me. I'm going to step tall. Don't hinge forward. Just try to sit up as tall as you possibly can and relax through that hip. We're going to go to the other side. Let's do arms and legs. And then we're going to be doing some uh, work with our straps on our thighs on the top of the box. And then we're going to be getting rid of the box, right? Cool. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to come off the box for safety purposes. I'm going to walk around to the other side. I'm going to sit closest to my shoulder blocks. I have my feet separated so my heels are directly under my sits bones. I'm going to bring my bicep in towards my ribs. Woo. Stack my shoulders over my hips. Bring my left hand to my hip. I'm going to shave my face and lower. I can really tell, since I'm facing the mirror, if I'm shifting my body weight here. And shave the face. Or that's what they call it. Or that's what I've heard it called, I should say. I'm sure someone else calls it something different. Good. And then I'm going to take my left hand, squeeze my bicep into my ribs, bring my forearm of my left arm across my belly button, put my right hand on my hip, and I'm going to open the door, work in that rotator cuff. Guys, again, if you have shoulder problems, please feel free to not do these exercises. Do them with a weight, a light weight. I like two pounds. Personally, that's my favorite weight. Or just do them with the motion of the weight of gravity. Now, allow your arm to come across your side. Look down at the strap. Pull it across. Follow it with your eyes to unsheath the sore. Try not to let your wrist bend or sickle as you do this exercise. Here's three, here's four, five, six, try not to let your carriage swing like I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little too close to the shoulder box, right? Here's seven. Oh, that was it. And here's eight. Good. I'm going to take the strap in the opposite hand. I'm going to move closer to the foot bar. I'm going to bring my arms up. My fingertips are in front of my sternum and 12th rib, or they're in line with it. And my shoulder blades nice and wide. Drop my abdominals up and in. Stacking my shoulders over my hips. So I'm going to hug a tree. Inhale. Or exhale and inhale to open. And exhale. I still have my, my heels underneath my sits bones. Here's four. And inhale. Now step here and exhale. Now inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Stay there. Place your left hand over top of your right. Rotate front. And then rotate back. Don't forget, this is, we have a giant pole sticking straight down through the tip top of our head, locking us in place so we can only rotate around the pull. Use your breath. Keep the handle right in front of your sternum, right in front of the middle of your body. Woo! We have one more arm exercise after this, guys. Rotate back, rotate back towards center. Open your arms, flip your hands up, and hug a tree. Inhale, and exhale. Whoa, hug a tree is so hard on the side. There's only one side, right? Inhale. Oh, I did the breath backwards on this one. Now, 
We switched our breath. Ah! <laughs> There's three. One more. Ah! And open. We're going to go ahead. We're going to change our handle over for a foot strap. Unless we have double loops. And we're going to find the quadruped position. Put my right or my left foot on the carriage, pull the strap to my foot, and then I'm going to find the quadruped position. Again, I have the inner aspects of my arms facing the back or the uprights. I have my shoulders over my wrists, my hips are over my knees. I walk my right knee in towards the center more so I get less rope burn. I'm going to make my left knee light, and then I'm going to donkey hit back and bring it down. I'm going to check a mirror or a camera to make sure that I'm squaring off my hips properly. A lot of times I swear that my hips are squared properly and they're not. Also, make sure that you're not poo bearing out in your back. You have a slight baby tiny tuck in your tailbone, just like you would to protect your low back for plank. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> One more. Now extend your foot down and bring it up with the square hips and lower. And lift. The second leg's always the hardest because you've already worked it on the first side. Abs up and in, square your hips. Good. Keep it up and pulse up. Two, three, four. With your booty, not your body. Now 10 small circles in each direction. Make sure that your hip is directly over your knee. And reverse. Now bend your knee in. Don't forget guys, we get that really nice figure four stretch after this. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and take our right hand, bend it down, point our right fingertips towards our left hand, squeeze underneath that left arm. I like to rest my, my right hand on top, maybe you don't like that. That's fine. Now we're gonna sway our hip to the side, lift our hip up, and lower. <sighs> lift, and lower. Move the machine as little as possible. Four, five, six. Here's the hardest exercise of the class after this, in my opinion, and eight. Now extend your leg back, bringing it up to the arabesque, bring it to the outside of the machine and squeeze it back. Try to keep your hip over your knee. Squeeze under your arms to help stabilize with your body. Six, seven, and eight, and now pulse it up. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, ten small circles in each direction. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My circles are not looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your knee back down. Replace your hand. Bring your foot to the carriage. Remove the strap carefully. Bring the bumper, the carriage to the bumper. Go ahead and peg that strap. We're going to go ahead and take the right leg, cross it at above the ankle, oh my gosh, at above the knee on the thigh, reach your hands back behind you to support sitting up tall, don't sink back into your hands, sit up tall, 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 keep equal weight on both of your sits bones, don't, don't collapse into a sits bone guys, okay? Sit up nice and tall. We have one more set of exercises on the box, and then we're gonna get rid of the box, okay? So, let me go ahead and drop our rest. Turn around. We're gonna scoosh to the front of our box. I'm gonna take my strap, I'm gonna bring it up over my leg, over my knee. If this is not a move that is uh, attainable for you, trust me, it is hard enough without straps on the box without moving the carriage. This is just something extra in case you're feeling crazy. 
which apparently I was, when I wrote this class. Reach your arms out in front of you, sit up tall. Inhale, exhale, tuck your tail. Begin to roll back. As you roll back, bring your feet to tabletop. Rest your head in your hands. Stay in a true tabletop. You can come back. Don't let your head collapse back. Just come back in a neutral spine. Now, inhale, exhale, lift and lower. Rest your head in your hands. Don't use your head, your hands to lift your head. Your abs should be doing that work. Make sure that you have a nice, grounded sacrum so you're not tucking. One more and stay up. Now extend your left leg and rotate towards the right. Come back to center, pull your left leg in. Extend your left leg or your right leg, rotate towards the left. The carriage shouldn't be moving. That's the goal here, guys, is not to move the carriage to do this. You're transferring the weight seamlessly, using control. <sighs> Inhale through center and exhale. Keep that back hip grounded. Rotate across the ribs. So it's from the belly button up and rotate. Seven. And here's eight. Final one. Legs and tabletop. Press your head back. Extend your legs up. Curl up. Lower your feet. One, two, three. Draw them into tabletop and lift. Lower one, two, three. Use your abs to pull and lift. It's one blue. So if you're feeling in your abs too much, don't lower your feet so low. Now lift. We're going to reverse. Tabletop, extend and lift. Two, three, and tabletop. Extend and lift. Two, three, and tabletop. Extend and lift. Two, three, one more. Lift. Two, three. Now, walk up gently with control, very slowly, so you don't go head over tea kettle into the well. We don't want to roll into the well, right? Carefully take your straps off your legs. Step off to one side of the machine. Let's go ahead and remove our box. Yes. We're going to change our straps over to one, uh, or our springs over to one medium, one light. On my machine, that is one red, one blue. I'm going to come lying on my back. Again, my headrest is down. Right, guys? The first thing that we are going to do is reverse ab curls, and then we're going to do corkscrew two, and then we're going to do feet and straps. So, draw your feet into a tight little ball, and hold on to your pegs or shoulder blocks as if they're really hot. So don't grip on for dear life, rounding up in your shoulder blades. Nice neutral spine, nice flat shoulder blades, nice, nice heavy sacrum. And now, exhale and your spine, and peel your tailbone off. Your upper body shouldn't move. Back to neutral spine. Inhale, exhale, imprint, and lift. The pegs are there to help you slightly. Here's three. One more, and then we're letting go of the spray of the pegs for four. Okay, now lift your arms straight up. We're not even gonna use your triceps. Plug your shoulder blades down into the mat. Don't let your ribs slip. Inhale, exhale, imprint, and peel. Can you still get your tailbone up and off without moving your upper body? Good. Hold on to the pegs since if they're super hot. Extend your legs straight up. For corkscrew two, we do a reverse ab curl. Roll down our left side. When we come down to the bottom, we find a neutral spine. And then we begin to roll up to the right, to the other side, and reverse ab curl. And then we roll down the right. Find a neutral spine at the bottom. Roll up the left, and reverse ab curl. Can you let go of your pegs? Roll down the left, neutral spine. Roll up the right side, reverse ab curl. Don't move your upper body. It's even harder here. And reverse ab curl. 
Now roll down the left. Find that neutral spine, that flat heavy sacrum. Roll up the right and tiny lift and roll down. My hands went too high to help me out. They wanted to help out so bad. And lift. Good. Go ahead and find the foot bark. Find that nice wide second again on the arches. Go ahead and windshield wipe through your legs again. Don't let that 12 throw off. We're going to press that with both legs. We're going to find our straps. I'm going to bend my right leg in. Place the strap around my arch. Press it out. Find my left foot. Press it out. Turn it out to Pilates feet. Pull it into a frog. Don't tuck on your frog. Okay, guys? Nice neutral spine here and extend. Squeeze your legs and pull. Don't make it easy. This feels great, right? Drop it down. Lower your legs and hold that neutral spine. Here's five and pull. Six and squeeze and pull. Seven. Eight. A little cardio. <laughs> and ten. Pull it back and extend and point your feet and point to open wide and flex to squeeze. They should touch at the same time. Point to open and flex to squeeze. Find a nice stretch in here while you're maintaining the stability of the box to your body. And now flex and keep your feet flexed. We're going to reverse and flex to open. Point to close. Flex to open. Here's three. If you want a little challenge, lift your arms up and hug a tree. Good. Now float your feet straight up. Bring them to parallel. Flex and lower. Point and lift. And flex and lower. Sorry, my bracelet got cut. Now I felt in my body that my, that my right hip wanted to raise. So I'm really focusing on keeping that down. A lot of Pilates is recognizing what's going on in your own body and being able to, to make the adjustments. Keep your feet pointed, point to lower, and flex to lift. Especially if you're doing videos for classes where no one's there to correct you, you really have to be able to recognize the lifts and moves and shifts in your own body. Nice flat shoulder blades, nice white collarbones. One more. And flex the left. Now, turn out your feet to a Pilates feet. Open and squeeze together for leg circles and lift. Keep your feet in Pilates seat for the entire leg circle this time. Really rotating the femur in the hip socket. Here's four. Squeeze. Good. Don't allow your tail to lift. And squeeze. And now reverse. Still in Pilates seat, go down and open wide. Don't let the springs take you up and squeeze. And don't let your feet cut. You're in control, not the springs. You're going to know the springs are in control if you get a clickety-click with your heels. My heels just clickety-clicked. Nice squeeze in the glutes. Good. One more, guys. Dry your feet in a frog, scooch away from the shoulder blocks. If you have back problems, neck problems, you can do reverse ab curls here without rocking up past your tailbone. It will be lovely to do uh, with your feet in straps. Otherwise, we're going to platform arms down by our side. We're going into short spine. We're going to extend to working level, pike at the hips, tuck our tail, and articulate up to standing on our shoulders. Lift your head from sort of side to side to make sure that you're not on your neck. Come into a high frog, leaving your feet where they are in space, not letting the straps move. You're going to begin to articulate down. It's going to give you a hamstring curl, and then you're going to hamstring or a hamstring stretch. You're going to hamstring curl your hip, your uh, heels towards your glutes. Oh my gosh! We're going to press out, pike, and tuck and articulate up and a high frog. Now leaving your feet there, find the hamstring stretch. Now curl and extend. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to the inner legs. Bring it down. Articulate 
down, and then bring your heels down. We have two more. Challenge. Bring your arms up for this next one. If you feel the weight's too heavy, oh, please do not bring your arms up because I don't want you to hurt your neck. And pike and lift. And then bend. And then articulate. And then hamstring curl. And stretch. Bring your legs straight up. Find a nice hamstring stretch. Through the backs of the legs. Now, turn your feet out wide, go straddle stretch. Find a nice neutral spine there as well. Try to stretch your legs nice and long. Now, if you can, bring your feet into a butterfly position, bringing the heels close to the glutes. And if it's tail to you, you can go ahead and drop your feet down to the well for a nice inner thigh stretch as well. Down towards the springs. Try not to arch your back. Now come back up to the butterfly. Bring your feet to more of a frog position. Take your left foot out, find the foot bar, stretch your legs straight. Take the right foot out, find the foot bar, and resist the springs back in. Or you come off to the side. We're going to do one final stretch on each side, and then we're done, guys. I'm going to drop my machine down to one light. Bring in my machine that is one blue. We're going to be doing the psoas, eaves lunge, side bend stretch situation. So I'm bringing the, my toes on my right foot to the front of my machine. I'm going to hand hand. My left hand's more towards the center. I'm going to tuck my toes, place my heel against the shoulder block. I'm going to rest my knee on the machine. I'm going to stand up tall. And instead of pressing away, I'm going to squeeze my glutes to open up in the front of my hip flexor first. And release that squeeze. And I'm going to squeeze again and hold it. Really opening up in the front of that psoas, really stretching it out. One more. Place your hands on the foot bar. Keep that squeeze and start to press down and back. Increasing that stretch. Now press it back so you're in a split if you, if you would like. Lift your right arm up to the side and side bend towards the left side. Bring your hand back down. Find the foot bar. Bend your knee, bring the carriage back into the bumper. Stand up tall. Step off carefully. We go to the other side. I'm going to take the toes of my left foot, line up with the front of the wood of my machine. Tuck my toes to my right foot, put the heel against the shoulder block. I'm going to rest my knee down. If you need a knee pad, a pad under your knee for this, please feel free. Now, without moving the machine, I'm going to tuck. I'm going to tuck. I'm going to squeeze my glutes and try to tuck my tail to really open up the front of that psoas hip on the right side. Release. Now tuck. Release. One more. Good. And now hands on the foot bar, begin to press the carriage back, keeping that stretch. If it's available to you, press back into a split. Now lift your left hand up, bicep by your ear, and slide them towards the right side. Come back to center, place your hand on the foot bar, carefully bring the carriage into the bumper. Come down to sitting on the machine, Let's go ahead and take one big inhale. Guys, I hope you enjoyed class. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a great day, and I see you soon. And as always, if you have any questions or any modifications, please feel free to reach out. Have a great night or day. Bye.